Good morning, YouTube. Today is Thursday, May 20th, and I'm it's 7:44 in the morning, and I'm coming to you from Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park. Of course, you can tell I don't have a face covering on right now because Disney's rules and guidelines from the CDC, it is not mandatory to be wearing face coverings while you're outside. You do have to wear face coverings when you go into the attraction queue line, restaurants, or gift shops. So, I want you to come and join me in this wild adventure today, and uh, let's get started. All right, folks. This is gonna be the first island that we're in. <clears throat> it's called Discovery Island. Right over here. Used to be one of the locations, I believe, for what used to be for one of the areas. This used to be for the meet and greets with Pocahontas at one point. And you actually just come from on this side and you come in this way over here to enter Animal's King, Animal's King, Animal Kingdom Discovery Island. You got the Wilderness Explorers. Right now it's eight. It's not even eight o'clock yet, and uh, you know the park hasn't fully opened yet. They're just letting guests into the park now, just to get ready. This is one of the merchandise stores. This one doesn't actually open up. Very good. This one doesn't actually open up until 10 o'clock in the morning. You also got the Riverside Depot right over there. That's also uh, on that side. You can actually uh, purchase pins outside. They sell ears. And this is the uh, famous Discovery Trading Company where they got a lot of merchandise where you can sell. And there is the famous Tree of Life. So from here, I'll be catching up with you guys in a little bit. And uh, we're going to make our way over to Pandora so I can show you the world of Avatar. I do want to mention though, I'm going to try to see if I can zoom in here a little bit. The Tree of Life has a bunch of carvings of animals, okay. different animals carved into the uh, tree. Right in that tree is actually a show called The Bug's Life. It's a pretty cool show for the whole family. And then now, I'm going to show you when you come in this way and you go to your left I'm gonna show you here the signs up here will actually show you this way is to go to Africa and Pandora and then over here is tough to be a bug in Dino Land USA but before we go over to Pandora I'm gonna show you I wanna come over here and show you the beautiful flamingos These, these flamingos are so beautiful. Their pink colors are pretty cool. And usually right inside of that area, right next to the Tree of Life, they usually have, I believe, kangaroos or some sort of uh, animal running around. So, well, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. So we're gonna make our way to Pend. All right, so now I'm making my way to Pandora so I can show you if you guys never been here to Disney World like to Animal Kingdom for a while um, if you haven't experienced Pandora once I get in, in there I'll get into a little more detail and I'll show you around what it looks like there's Simba, Pumbaa and Timon everybody's going over to uh, Pandora I am going to show you some, I'm going to tell you a fun fact once we get over here about this area.
they got the uh, ice cream stand right over here where you can get ice cream bars. Those frozen lemonade cups. Now, when you're coming in, before you get into Pandora, right over here on the right, it's actually Tiffin's. It's one of the popular restaurants here at Animal Kingdom. As you can tell, they still have the social distancing markers down here in the ground, going into Pandora. Yep. Pandora usually has the potential of getting busy. So, but now we're crossing over the bridge, crossing over the bridge to go into Pandora. But before we do, before I get over to Pandora, I do want to show you something pretty interesting. Fun fact, this whole area over here, originally when Animal Kingdom first opened, that right over there, that's supposed to be a dragon. That dragon is a symbol of Animal Kingdom. So, now with that being said, this whole area over here now where I'm about to go into, which is Pandora, this originally back when Animal Kingdom first opened was supposed to be a dragon land over here in, in Animal Kingdom. Because if you actually been to Animal Kingdom before and you look at the signs, you actually will see that there's a dragon on the picture. So this whole area here would have been a dragon land. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. So they actually, fun fact was, this whole area here was actually converted at one point to um, Camp Mickey and Minnie. This whole area here was Camp Mickey and Minnie. So what I'm gonna show you is now, this land is amazing. I love it, I've been here before, it's amazing. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you around here. I'm going to see if I can show you as much as I can. All this stuff here that you see here, and this on the ground, at night it lights up. Which is pretty cool. It glows at night, which is amazing. Here is the famous floating mountains. It looks like it's going to be raining here. Hopefully not. Hopefully it holds up. So right now, a cast member over here just said, which we can cross over any farther, but right over here is where the line you enter to go into Flight of Passage. That is a must-do when you come to Animal Kingdom is the flight of passage. Fortunately, we're not going to be able to go down that way right now. But then here is the sign. Actually, you probably could. You got flight of passage. So, Tui's Canteen, Wind Traders, and Pongu Pongu. So, let's go see right now. The other cast member just said it was a 75 minute wait for Flight of Passage, which honestly is worth it. That's, uh, there's actually two rides here located in Pandora. Uh, one of them is Flight of Passage, which is the main one. And you also have Nari Rivers, of, uh, Nari Rivers Adventure. So with that being said, uh, let's go down here and let's see if we can get in. One or two, when you come in in Pandora, there's restrooms over here on your left. And then you walk down this way here. Well, they also got carts right out here also. There's a cart for souvenirs. So 
probably a five minute wait right now for Na uh, Nari's River Adventure, so we're gonna go on ahead and do that. Now we can show you what it looks like. That there is normally a stage for entertainment, but I don't know if they're doing any of that right now at the moment because of the pandemic. Good morning. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right, so now we're walking to the queue, so I'm going to be, uh, I'll come back to you guys here in a little bit. I am so used to wearing a face covering all the time. And it's like I totally forgot, and I even mentioned it to you guys a little while ago that you have to wear a face covering when you get into the queue. And I totally forgot we're ready to walk in without one. Of course, the cast member had to say something to me, which is fine. That would probably just taught me a lesson. <laughs> so, uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna catch up with you guys in a little bit, and then uh, we'll go from there.
got a, a Navi River Adventure. Now since I'm out, I can remove my mask. And then uh, it's starting to drizzle, so I'm gonna see which way I can go to make it over to, right now we're gonna go over to Africa now. So uh, I'll catch up with you guys here in a little bit. All right, so we just got out of Ventura, like I said. Uh, I'm gonna take a left right over here. And we're gonna, I'm gonna make my way over to uh, Africa. So I'm gonna show you all the cool things that they have over there. Um, once you come out of Pandora, you make a left. Um, this right here is Pizza Fari. I don't know if it's open currently. Um, it doesn't seem like it. I'm, I don't know if they use it for a relaxation station. So, but yeah, this is normally our restaurant. And then over here, um, before we go over to Africa, this is actually uh, a location for where they have otters. I'm just going to zoom in real quick. I'm going to zoom in. Now we can get a better look. Oh, he just hid behind the uh, rock over there. Well, just going to go on ahead now. Oh, this one here, it's really, really cloudy. <sighs> so we're going to go over here. Animal Kingdom is pretty cool. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, we're I'm crossing the bridge over now to Africa, and right over there I'm going to go over there now. I'm going to show you what's over there, and I'll show you what else is over there now. That's the end of the line for Kilimanjaro. See right over here. Like I'll show you when I get over there now what it looks what it is. Alright folks, I am just proud to announce that a celebration of the festival of the Lion King has returned here to Animal Kingdom. So this is basically like the, the, end, the standby entrance where you will go in into the theater and uh, they'll show you where to sit. I believe they're still doing the social distancing sitting for right now. But yep. Entertainment is starting to come back to Disney World. So if you ever come down here now for the summer, uh, feel free to come on and check out the Festival of the Lion King. The Lion King show is amazing. So right over there, I'm gonna see if I can zoom in. Zoom in over here. Right over there is the end of the line for Flight of Passage. So with that being said, let's go and find out how long is the line for um, Kilimanjaro Safaris to see if it's not long enough. Uh, we'll probably just go on ahead and wait and then go from there. So I'll be back. All right, YouTube, this is actually the end of the line of Kilimanjaro. And it runs all the way down here. Let's go see how long is the uh, wait time. Because if it's a real long wait time, I, I unfortunately I don't have time to wait for it. So we'll see. It smells good in here. They got a like different restaurant, uh, di a restaurant around here somewhere. It's back there. Where we just passed. This is a gift shop that's here. Because it's still all the Lion King stuff in here, I believe. Yeah. So we're gonna come over here. It's a 40 minute wait and no, that is not happening today. I don't have time to be waiting 40 minutes. So with that being said, I'm actually gonna go back around this way here because I can't go that way. Um, at least I gave you a, uh, a POV ride through of Navi River. 
Now the cool thing is, wow, the line runs all the way down here. This is crazy. And it's doing the week too on a Thursday of all things. Now this is part of Animal Kingdom. Also it's included with your ticket. It's called Rafiki's Planet Watch. This will actually take you down to the other side. That way you can learn different things of animals. And I believe that's where they had the animation class. Uh, you may want to find out when you get down here um, if they still have it available due to the pandemic. And then right over here, you got the Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail. Where you can see like the gorillas, hippos, and bird forest. There's a freaky right up there. So unfortunately, since Kilimanjaro, that's one ride I wanted to do so I can show you guys the animals and everything. But the fun fact is, um, I just found out there is a baby zebra that was actually born here at Animal Kingdom. Which is pretty cool. And then, this is the uh, sweets where they sell like different kind of candy and all that stuff in here. Pretty cool. Here's the Hum Harbram Harambe Market. Where they got like different areas you can get like different foods and all that stuff it's pretty cool but I, I do want to show you something else though once we get up a little bit more because now once we leave Africa we're gonna be entering um, Asia so it's a whole different environment just keep in mind though Animal Kingdom is like a big round circle which is pretty cool So now, see there's more carvings right back there for the Tree of Life. There's plenty of photo opportunities around Animal Kingdom that you can actually take photos of the Tree of Life. And here's the uh, sign right up here. Um, it's pointing you to uh, pointing me to Asia and Dino and USA. I just want to show you all the different islands of uh, Animal Kingdom, and usually through here um, and this waterway here. I believe this is where they usually have the boats coming through with the characters, since they, they don't have no meet and greets at the moment. So. pretty cool at least they got the characters out and about on the boat so people can see them yeah unfortunately this is closed at the moment it's pretty quiet over here in this part of uh, the park you also got uh, restrooms in this side over here it's pretty unique they still have a pay phone old school stuff pretty cool and then right over here you have the up a great bird adventure where you can actually meet Russell right you can see Russell over here in the show it's pretty cool I did forget to show you one thing though, which was my fault. Um, the show times for uh, the Festival of the Lion King, but um, you can probably see them, find them on the My Disney Experience app, which is pretty cool. I'll catch up with you guys here in a little bit. Oh yes, I did forget to mention, uh, if you have the My Disney Experience app, if you have a 
iPhone or a Android, uh, you do have the Mobile Magic. Uh, that basically, uh, you can actually link your tickets to it. And the only thing you have to do is, is just tap your phone on the uh, touch point when you come into the park, and then oh, uh, ring it. It'll let you in, which is pretty cool. I actually tried doing it this morning when I came in, but it wasn't a success for me at the moment. Um, I don't know why. I'm gonna have to try to contact them to see what was going on. But uh, otherwise, it's a pretty good, cool feature to have on your My Disney Experience app. So with that being said, I'm gonna continue now and I'm gonna continue showing you everything else. Over here, you have the uh, walkway from Discovery Island to come into Asia. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, oh yes, the world famous Yak and Yeti restaurant. I'm actually gonna come up here and show you what they have briefly. Um, so this is what uh, some of the food that they have that way at least you can have an idea of what they have here to offer So yeah, so basically Yak and Yeti is actually going to be located once you come over the bridge from Discovery Island over, you just make a right and it's going to be right there. So I do want to show you something else, which is one thing I am not going to do today is Cali River Rapids. That is one thing that I would recommend you if you are going to come and experience Cali River Rapids, which I'm going to make a left here to show you where Cali River Rapids is at. It's, uh, <laughs> you will get soaked. Ah, this is the cool part right here. I'm just going to show you right up here or actually right over here. You actually got you got actually got the uh, the monkeys over here swinging around but the best one is gonna be the one right up there oh this is too cool gotta love it so um, I'm just gonna go on ahead now and continue on my way so I can keep showing you everything else here in Animal Kingdom so that way you can at least have an idea what you can experience an encounter here at Animal Kingdom whenever you come to Walt Disney World and this is Cali River Rapids so this will be the entrance here but I believe Cali River Rapids uh, will be offered from 9 to 7 o'clock today but like I was saying about Cali River Rapids Oh, there goes actually one of the boats right over there right about now. I haven't been on this in a long time. It's a thing where you want to bring extra clothes because it's a good possibility you are, you are going to get soaked. So basically this loops around here in front of Cali River Rapids. And it's going to take you down this way here. Which is pretty amazing. So, uh, see what time it is. 8.32, that's not bad. So, it just takes you back out this way here. And then when you make a left, it's, uh, you're going to head over to um, Expedition Everest. is the next stop we're going to go. So, right over here. There's the lagoon area right over here. Fun fact, this used to be where they used to do the show for the Jungle Book from the live action. And then it actually became, right after, it actually became Rivers of Light. 
And unfortunately now with the pandemic and everything, and they had to stop doing the Rivers of Light here at Animal Kingdom. But of course, this is where the boats that I showed you, or the area I showed you earlier where the boats come in with the characters, they actually bring them from that side over there and loot and then bring and they bring them out this way here which is pretty cool now the sun decides to come out again the Yeti Palace Hotel opening soon I wonder if that's true <laughs> that'll be interesting Here's some more restrooms with water fountains. And now, I've entered Asia. Pretty interesting. Then right over here, this cart right here, they actually serve soft serve ice cream. These are the flavors that they have. You can get them in a waffle cone. Hopefully, if when I go back to the front on my way out, I'll see one of the gift shops I'll open so I can show you the different merchandise that they have. And of course, they still have the uh, signs up for the health and safety reminders. Huh, this is interesting. They got a sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit for six ninety-nine. Hmm, interesting. And ladies and gentlemen, here's the entrance and queue line for. Expedition Everest. How are you doing, right now, Expedition Everest is a five minute wait. No, unfortunately, I'm not going to do it today. Because unfortunately, I do not have nowhere to store my camera or anybody hold it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to yeah. come right around here. I'm going to get up close to that way, see if I can show you, um, see there's a train coming now so we can see it. I would love to go on it, but it goes out right there. See, like right up here. This is where it's going to come down. You'll see it coming down here in a second. There it goes. Yep. It's a fun roller coaster though. That's actually another must do if you come to Animal Kingdom. There is two must do's you got to do here in Animal Kingdom, which is Flight of Passage and Expedition Everest. So, uh, I'll come back to you guys in a second. You see, like, Expedition Everest. Is one of my favorite rides here at Animal Kingdom, along with Flight of Passage. Those two rides are actually my favorite rides besides Kilimanjaro is number three. I love Kilimanjaro because it's like one of the longest rides here at Animal Kingdom, which is pretty cool. So now I also want to show you something else once I get closer. What other entertainment offering there is here at Animal Kingdom, and I'll show you here in a second. Ladies and gentlemen, here is one of the other entertainment offerings which is Finding Nemo the musical it's located right here in the theater in the wild it's actually located right across from the old theater of Rivers of Light it's gonna be located right over here now fun fact for this one long time ago when Animal Kingdom actually opened up the theater in the wild used to be Tarzan Rocks once Tarzan Rocks closed, they actually converted into Finding Nemo the Musical, which was pretty cool. Like, of course, like I always say, if I, find, if I know any fun facts, 
from the park so I can always throw them out there for you guys and let you guys know. But um, now, once I pass Nemo the musical, I'm actually going to show you something else. I know it's kind of heartbreaking to see um, this has been here since for a while. I don't necessarily say from day one, but it's a good possibility it could have been day one. Um, I just don't want to put that out there like that, but um, I'm going to show you what it is here in a second. Uh, you can actually, go, if you go this way here, it's actually going to take you directly back to Discovery Island. But if you go this way, the way I'm going now, it's going to take you right into Dino Land USA. Now, I also meant to say, if anyone has been to Animal Kingdom before, just feel free to comment below and let me know what is your favorite attraction here at Animal Kingdom. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Chester and Hester Dinorama so I can show you the one ride that's no longer here. And this area here is pretty cool because they have like different, um, you know, game, dinos, dinosaur games. It looks like a little carnival area, which is pretty cool. Now, unfortunately, the one ride that's no longer here, which was actually my 14-year-old's favorite ride here at Animal Kingdom every time we come here, it is the world the famous prime evil world unfortunately that ride had to shut down after the pandemic like during the pandemic and everybody thought it was going to reopen but unfortunately it couldn't so prime evil world will be missed the only ride that's open on this side it's actually a kid-friendly ride triceratops spin i've never done that um that's like another dumbo in the magic carpets of aladdin um and over here they it's uh the this whole area here in dino land usa it's actually called donald's dino bash so and here they usually have the meeting greets right over here um, but unfortunately like I said again with the pandemic it makes it kind of difficult to have meet and greets and then I'm gonna walk over here and I'm gonna show you something else before I get to the other, other area um, This is, this was a pretty cool experience for the kids when it was available. Um, this was actually the, the Dino Land USA Boneyard. This used to be a uh, play area for the kids. But of course, again, with the pandemic, they had to shut it down. Um, hopefully it can reopen back up soon. The kids will love this. Hopefully the next time you guys come down to Animal Kingdom, it will be open, hopefully. So now there is uh, another, there's only two attractions here at Dino Land USA, which is Countdown to, which is Dinosaur. Which, I'm going to tell you the fun fact about that one here in a second. Over here, there is an American crocodile. Let's see if he's in here somewhere. Where is he at? Oh yeah, there he is, right there. I don't know if you guys can see him, but he's underneath the water. Yeah, I won't be able to see him. Then this is one of the one of the only restaurants 
that they have here in Dinoland USA. Um, I can show you the menu on this real quick, briefly. Um, and they got typical um, theme park food. This uh, fun fact, uh, they used to serve McDonald's fries here at one point. I think it used to be sponsored by McDonald's, but I'm not really sure. But I thought it was. Um, but it's pretty cool though. Um, and over here, right over here, this used to be a, also another meet and greet right over here. At least, luckily, fortunately, I had a chance to go on Navi River, but. This is dinosaur. Right now the dinosaur wait time is five minutes. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it because it's only a five minute wait but the only thing I gotta do is I'm actually gonna have to pull my camera away I do not want to lose it or drop it so uh, once I get out of dinosaur I'll come back to you guys okay guys I just got out of uh, dinosaur and now since I'm on the attraction now I can just go on ahead and remove my mask again I always keep forgetting to take my mask put my mask on but um the ride is amazing. The ride is really, really cool. I love it. So now we're, I'm actually going to be making my way back to Discovery Island. That way I can start making my way out of the park. And then once I get up there now, I'll see if any one of the gift shops are open. So that way I can show you around, see what merchandise they have to offer. So with that being said, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. This is actually the entrance to Dino Lane USA. Now, this way you can actually go back to Discovery Island that way. Just keep in mind, Animal Kingdom is like a big round circle. So we'll take you right directly back to the front. The Thrill Bites, they actually sell, I'm gonna show you real quick. They sell the famous Buffalo Chicken Chips. These are actually $8.49. So now I'm gonna come this way here. I'm gonna make a way down. I'm gonna make my way down to Discovery Island now, which I'm gonna be entering here in a second. This is the, the bridge that you can cross to go from Discovery Island back to Dino Land USA. This is the other side where you can see the Rivers of Light Theater. Now there is a restaurant up here, which is like a quick service kind of thing. I do want to show you, which it's one of my personal favorites. Oh, right over here, before I continue, this character landing area, Discovery Island, this is where you met, uh, used to meet uh, Pocahontas, which I believe is the same one that I just showed you when I was coming in uh, this morning. You also have restrooms right over here, Discovery Island. The restaurant that I'm talking about, which is the quick service, is the Flame Tree Barbecue. This is what they have. I've had the uh, pool pork sandwich, pretty phenomenal. And then the baked mac and cheese with the pool pork, that's also good too. I had that. Um, basically, the only thing you have to do is, um, I don't know if you can order it up at the register or if you only have to do it um, mobile ordering. 
so it'll make it quicker and easier just mobile order it which will be a lot easier for you instead of waiting in line if you could order it um at the cashier but it smells really really good so now i literally just walked the whole oh so there is a gift shop open right now so i'm actually going to go into before i go into discovery trading company i'm going to i want to show you this a world of voices i believe this sand sculpture is actually from Disney's Moana, which is pretty cool because now it's in uh, Disney Plus. I haven't seen it yet though. So now I'm gonna show you around real quick in uh, Discovery Trading Company. Just to show you an overview of what they have. Um, I'll be right back, I'm just gonna put my face this is the overview I'm going to show you an overview of all the merchandise they have I got of course spare jerseys the inside out pocketbooks this is $75 for the pocketbooks and you got the normals Get the little outfits. You got Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Stitch. And each one of these plushes are twenty dollars. Then you also have the up pocket books. Oh, you got the, uh, oh, yeah. those are, those are nice pocketbooks. That looks like a You got the Pocahontas one. These ears are, they're new arrival actually, they're $34.99. Pretty cool because it matches with the, uh, wallet and the pocketbook also. And then you got these here. Vera Bradley. Uh, this is a hundred dollars. They look very nice. I also got sanitizing uh, stations in here. They sell jewelry. They got cooling towels, water bottles. This store is one of the big one of the big ones here in Animal Kingdom. So I'm, just, I'm not going to show you everything. I'm just going to overview everything for you. Oh, they got these face coverings. They got Mickey Mouse on them. These are. I don't know how much they are. Fourteen and a half. Oh, fourteen ninety nine. They're fifteen dollars each. Pretty cool. I mean, what part of all food that And the register is like where you get in line right here. These are pretty cool. The adult tees are like uh, $20, $22 each when you buy two only. And you got the mall and socks, $11 each when you buy two. You got different ones. With the character image. You got more ears over here. These are pretty cool. These are $34.99 and then these are the fanny packs are $24.99. Here's more.
more novelty songs. These are pretty cool. Then of course they sell Mandalorian stuff in here. It's pretty cool. Yeah, this store's big. I mean, if you actually this is the Lion King section. This is pretty cool. Like I said, I didn't want to show everything just to have a brief overview of everything that they have. Alright, so I'm just walking out of the store now and I'll uh, come back to you. Alright, YouTube, this actually concludes my visit here to Disney's Animal Kingdom. Now, if you are new to the channel, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell for future uploads, and share. Also, feel free to comment below of any favorite attraction that you have here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Until next time, don't be a stranger in this upside down world. So long, YouTube.